Yo, reference scatters we're back again. Stream edition once again. Um, chat box on. I'll put the square on when people actually start talking. We'll we'll get there when we get there. We're doing singles first. Um, I see a Zam. That sounds incredibly awesome to get. Um, arrow for trade bait. I I can't really bring it in this fight because like, what does it do other than beat Wangasaur? I mean, does he even beat it? No. It beats nothing. It's not even like a Zam counter. Actually, it could be a Zam counter. What's your speed, my guy? Flax. I'm pretty sure that is not a Zam counter if I have ever seen one in my life. That's kind of cringe. Alright, here's the thing. Can I find a better solution here? I could try some kind of Gyarados sweep. Um, it kind of gives me an issue for Kingdra or Melodic lead. You know, if I remember anything from last time, I should definitely prepare for the Melodic lead. Not Melodic, Kingdra. Yeah, that guy. Let's take the harder-hitting Gera and... I mean... <laughs> maybe I should have done doubles today. Who, who knows? We're gonna try out this plan. Because it's... What the fuck does it do? It doesn't make me game over frame one. That's what it does. Is that it? Probably not. But you know what? We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. All right, what is this? Oh. Well, I can hit it. Lucky me. That sounds hype. And you are being so cringe. All right. Let's look into some actual music this time. Because um, if I have to listen to this game for like two hours, I'm going to start screaming. I am going to start screaming like a child, right? There's nothing you do to stop me. Hmm. Okay, you're a pain in the ass. You know that? Stop. All right, uh, no speed ties, cringe, you're the worst, all right. We I mean, don't really see how it could be a speed tie, but we're just gonna ignore that for now. Um, game plan, music, hmm, hmm. No, love to see Discord not doing the, the notification thing, that's awesome. Let's do the chat box now, there. It's so subtle, but it makes a huge difference, all right. What the fuck is this video? On my recommended. Like, what the fuck is the damn flavored condoms taste tier list? That is the worst thing I have ever seen in my life. Alright, alright. Thank you, YouTube. Appreciate it, my guy. Alright, what kind of game can we play in the background? I could, like, easily take the fattest cop out of all time and just be like, Hey! Yo, mystery dungeon, my man. Uh, fuck off Stone Edge. I got nothing better for this guy. Oh, look at him go! He's fast! Oh, oh, oh. Dude, he's actually not a waste. And I'm trying to get rid of this guy, and he just... He just destroyed him! He simply... Builds. <laughs> yeah, that's how we do it. Oh no, and I have a Gyarados saved exclusively for the Starmie. Here's the real question. Can I get a perfect here? I know if I keep arrow in, it just dies. Although I could get the right. I mean, it, I have to go for the flinch chance or the parallel parallel pit pit. Yeah. Um, game plan. Is it worth it? It's also 95 accuracy. And then I got to go paralyze this pit. Yeah. Bagara. I mean, Arrow's faster than Stormy anyways. If this backfires and I lose him, I can still beat it with Arrow. It's fine. I'm overthinking it. Might as well go for the chance. You're cringe, by the way, Stormy. Use, like, Pachati or something. Come on. That works. Until he crits me. Hmm. Do not appreciate that right there. You're just... You're just a piece of work, you know that? <laughs> Rock smash. <laughs> it's so bad. Who hurt you? Oh, well, that was a waste of time. Lucky me. Uh, I'm just gonna blow up on this guy and just say that's um, some gameplay. All right, good. Glad we can agree on that. <laughs> it seems the game is just not fond of my RNG shenanigans right now. After a lovely Jolteon session, it's just time to get dicked over 24-7, all right? My favorite thing in the world. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I might just wait for somebody to show up in chat and just ask them what they want to listen to. 
I'm about I'm about done with trying to find stuff, all right? I'm about done with this. Hmm. Also, announcer, I don't know what the hell you're on about, but I oh, I had that from the start, my guy. I always had that win up my sleeve. Forehead. Oh, does Stormy have Ice Beam? Probably not. Oh, it does. Bold. It's kind of cringe. It's got a Wakanberry, though. I mean, it's better than Arrow. Like, it, it gives me an out against, like, um, yeah. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> All right, anyways. Nice to know my brain just shut off, like, entirely there. Ooh, big man Mamo. I like the sound of that. I could try to get rid of this other Gyarados while we're here. Not like I need two of these. This one's fast, too, so it can also give me an out for the Marowak. I mean, it's gonna give me an out for the Marowak regardless. It, it's faster. It can give me an out for Mamoswine, which is huge. Um... Yo, you should name Lapras Lap Dance. Oxy, do it. It's time. I think we should call Lapras Lap Dance, personally. Alright, um, I think maybe Infernape. It's plus speed, so I'm never slower to Mamoswine, ever. So I can just kill it. It's your spirit Pokemon. Yeah, we see that Ludi right there. Lovely. Okay, Infernape lead gives me an out for Lapras, probably. Probably not, let's be honest. Um, I could bring Ments for that, or Starmie, even. Actually, Starmie would be broken for that. Okay, Inferno is an out for Wall Rain. Uh, it ruins Mamoswine. It hits Lapras really hard. Um, it can help for Ludi. It's gonna die to him, but it helps. I think Gera is pretty important. Gives me an out for Mamo. Ruins Marowak. Um, dude, I'm about, I'm gonna get sheer cold about that Wall Rain. I, I know it's gonna happen. Every time I play singles, I get dicked on it. Every time. And. I don't want the Starmie, it's kind of useless. I think maybe meta. Yeah. I'm kind of lacking other options. Hey, Oxy, what kind of uh, video game soundtrack should we consider listening to today? Hmm. I've kind of drawn a bit of a blank on that one. Hear me out. The UMVC3? Yo. Uh. Cap. Com 3 OST. Alright. I am gonna hear that out. Okay, Mammoth Swine. This is a, a black belt infernate. This thing dies unless it's got a. It does not. Alright. Um. There. Alright, music. Oh, why the hell did I mute this? I'm supposed to mute this. Bye bye. Anyways, wow, Mammoth Swine died. That's insane. Hey, Oxy, I got some good news coming soon, my guy. We're gonna rename the channel, and it's gonna be awesome. Yo! Wolverine! Well, Die, please. Just just go down in one hit. That's all that matters. We're gonna rename it to what the bot used to be named before I deleted it? Yeah, awesome. Because I, too, happen to be a reference getter. Alright? I, too, happen to just have that. That's gonna be my identity for forever on the internet. I think that's very important. That I drop a pretty lackluster name. Uh, Ludi, fuck, that's annoying. Oh, that's no perfect point for me. I can blow up on it. I mean, I can just flare blitz this and just blow up on it next turn. I always beat this. Or I could get the crit close combat. I'm not renaming to Bernie Simp. Come on now. People are like, oh my god, guys, you say Bernie? Yo, are you a left leaning individual? Because I only know politics. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> hey, Aludi, you want to miss, buddy? Goes for the 100 accuracy move. Goes for the 100 accuracy attack. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Sounds about right. See if I see Bernie Simp. I. <laughs> hey, you can't say that word on Twitch, my man. That is how you get banned by Twitch themselves. Come on now. Speaking of which, I need to get Bernie as an emote at some point. But I can't draw chibi characters, so it's just not gonna happen. I'm not doing it myself. Twitch. More like... Lack of bitches. Unlike my Kirby amiibo that I just recently built. Not the funny one with the Star Rod, but a new one. Who <laughs> goes flying across the map in mere seconds. Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa! Chill, chill, chill! 
Hostility. Not a fond of one on that one, all right? As I can sit there and fumble every single word imaginable. All right. Uh, yeah, game's over. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> hmm. What the fuck am I looking at? Is that a Digimon? Probably. All right. Um, all these mods were kind of bad. Wait, the Mamo's here, though. This is actually what I wanted to look at. It doesn't even have Earthquake. Come on. It's it's nature's ass, too. It's got a muscle band, though. It's like the one redeeming quality. Um, Sheer Cold, Aurora Beam, Hail, Surf. Hail, but no Blizzard. Unfortunate. Anyways, let's just not. I need to get rid of the second Gera, because, like, it's just been here for, like, an eternity at this point. Oh, no. Is it time for the god Jolteon to arrive a second time? No shot, right? Why did I agree to this fucking bet? Because you never learn from your mistakes? Like that time you uh, got the shiny Zekrom and had to buy sword and shield? Well, sword specifically. Alright, game plan. Game plan. Hi, Tant. Welcome on in, by the way. I hope you enjoy Marvel vs. Capcom 3 music. Oh god, what the fuck is my plan for Jolteon? That thing always ends every single run I get. I think my plan is lead Gyarados against it, because it's got a Wakan Berry. Um, if it doesn't crit, I kill it with Earthquake. Unless it's Shuka Berry or... The other one. Sash. Wrong Gyarados, I want to get rid of this one. Monkey for Metagross Weavile, I can switch into Weavile. This Magius is always a problem. And Meta, alright, let's go. This isn't Code Gas the visual novel. Cease. Tent, want to take a break in Arna? Wow, that's fucked up. You're going to do an Arna while I'm playing some good old Pokemon on the Wii U. Got to read your book for school, then you're all you're going to say is Tent smells me on your way. You know what plays? Reasonable. Have a good day with your book, man. Have a good experience. In a bit, I'm going to make you learn Banjo true. Huh? Wait, Met Metagross just walls us. I can switch straight to it. I could dance, but this thing resists every attack I have. I don't have Ice Fang, which is cringe. But you want to learn Sheik. We'll stop learning Sheik and learn, um, how to get some bitches instead? That doesn't sound right. <laughs> huh. All right, that's lovely. Your mother plays. Also have fun doing a read. True. All right, uh, you better not put me in flinch hell, my friend. Don't do it. Was Axel v uh, promoted to VIP? I think Axel's had VIP since, like, I got access to VIPs. Just straight up. I think he's just had access to it forever. He's had it about as long as Tent has. Yo, boost, let's go! Now we gotta promote Tent to mod so you can be abused. <laughs> hey! Who said that would happen? That's rude. Anyways, oh no! <laughs> Altaria is such a meme in this. It just does nothing. It literally does nothing. I should have gone for Thunder Punch. I'm at plus one. It kills. It probably doesn't kill anymore. I'm going for it anyways. Let's just win. Listen, guys. I don't know about y'all, but today I've been sitting behind a computer editing for a while. And it's getting a little draining. I'm not going to lie. So, watching the funny Metagross do whatever the fuck that moving animation was is kind of hype. It is kind of nice to see it again, all things considered. Okay, dead ass though, I've been hella neglecting streaming lately, and it's been a big problem. Uh-oh, I'm blowing up with this immediately. Listen, Zen Headbutt will probably kill, but I actually need to hit this. Okay, it's rain dancing. We're good, we're good, we're fine. We are perfectly fine. Me, Chrono Trigger, Tent, Ban, True. Oh no! Anyway! <laughs> How'd you read me like a book, Blaze? Come on. I'm not that big of an asshole. I definitely am. I'm not even gonna try to lie my way out of this rut right now. I would have to say that I am definitely on that side of the internet of being a complete and utter meanie face. Alright, Rain's up. Um, I'm going hard, Gyarados. A, I don't want to Flare Blitz and Rain. B, Rain boosted Aqua Tail. C? I don't know what the C is. Uh oh. Uh, Gera? All you have to do is hit this. If you hit this, we win. That's all you have to do. You think you can get a decent merge uh, number of merges for Seliph? No. You ran the numbers in your head and without taking into account quests, login orbs, FEH, fast quests. After, uh, 
Corin. After Corin. Arena T. Oh, fuck me. I lost. We're it's over. It's over. I literally got dicked over. I never win this, by the way. Uh, we're just gonna. When are you gonna train female Corin amiibo on stream? True. Me who wants to do a funny twitch. You cannot <laughs> True. Uh, you can get 165 orbs by the next special heroes banner. Impossible. <sighs> I made the mistake of blowing up my Metagross. I should have gone for the Zen Headbutt, boys. Alright. Uh, Tent, have you tried using the um actual uh simulators for the orb summoning thing? Granted, it's CYL. It's probably, um, what is it? It's probably just going to be one of each color. By the time CL, uh, CYL6 drops, you should have 200 orbs. Wow. That's crazy. Now you don't do that shit. You should do that shit. Alright. Um, I see a team that's like super Omega weak to Infernape. And then whatever Infernape just doesn't one-shot, Gyarados just beats. So, um, lucky me. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky me. Well, Tank, you know what you should do? You should do that anyway and stop being a beta. Listen, I thought that I had enough orbs to at least pull one Yuri before sparking. And that didn't happen, so I had to spend like a few dollars to get two merges out of nowhere. After sparking. Oh, fuck me. This is going to be the Choppleberry set, ain't it? Don't do it. That's cringe. <sighs> you know what? We're just going to... We're just going to reset. We're just going to... Yeah, I'm not dealing with this fucking cheating ass Snorlax bullshit, alright? He had the perfect item, and I'm gonna start screaming. Aneurysm inbound. Aneurysm inbound. Guys, I'm about to blacklist the letter L. It provides nothing to any conversation, and it's just completely pointless. It is more useless than saying you get no bitches. Like, straight up. It's more pointless than calling people out on their Chrono Trigger gameplay. Alright. I think we do doubles instead. Okay, but it's, it's really not. It's not being funny the moment Rob's, like, disappeared off the face of the internet. For the subtle appearance in tech, uh, tech, not tech support. In Pokemon chat. For those rare appearances. Alright, guys, do we play as Ligma or, um, uh, Reference? Wait, what does this Mammoth Swine even have? Like, I'm genuinely curious. Jol- I had a plus speed Mammoth Swine this entire time and did not know. Huh. Okay, we're going, Chad. L. Guys, see, I'm funny. I said the letter L! I know comedy! Shut the fuck up. Alright. Oh, is this doubles? Ooh, it is. I mean, Espeon's dead weight in this, but whatever. Hold on, hold on. Besides Espeon, every single one of these guys is a physical attacker, guys. You know what that means, right? One, two, three. I'm not trading arrow, right? <laughs> okay, we got our triple intimidate core. The real question just comes why am I why am I still using Ments? Eli doesn't do much. Alright, it just comes down to whether or not I think arrow might be helpful. I don't think it is. I mean, it beats Altaria. Sure. <laughs> hey, sign me up, bro. My, half my team's weak to electric moves. The other team gets fried by flying uh, ice moves. All right, I'm fucking bored, Oxy. Can we Arna now? Wow, I take offense to that, man. Come on now. I take offense to that one. I mean, I know you're shiny hunting, but still. Oh, no. Not the uh, intimidate twice. You know what this means, right? It's time to... Do I double dance this? I... Yeah, I gotta. What does... Small... I, I gotta get rid of this uh, Espeon frame one. I think I am not gonna double dance. It sounds cringe. Alright, Espeon. Don't, don't do a stupid, okay? Just stop. That's still a fuck ton of damage. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I get that Espeon's like a poor man's Alakazam, but come on now. Oh, that did zero damage. That's the weaker one, though, so the other one kills. Lucky me for knowing my stat, uh, stat calcs, yeah. Damage rolls, my bad. Maybe I'll use proper language next time. And you go bye-bye. Get out of here. What do you think this is, some kind of Coliseum speedrun? Get the fuck out of here. 
Oh, nice girl to snort. Oh my god, it's so much damage. Holy fucking shit. Okay, good. Good stuff. That was a damn good crit. <laughs> that was a rude ass crit. Oh god, that was mean. Um, Crobat, huh? I have a game plan for this, actually. It's called Switch and Ment, and it's called Aquatilling the Snorlax. A, it kills Snorlax. B, it gets Intimidate on Crobat. It's called Being a Jackass because I can. Hmm. Huh. Guys, it's been approximately one day. Do we have to remind Tent that Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is coming out this, like, in a week? Oh my god, guys, this- it, the, the whole world's about to fall apart when that game drops. Oh, I mean literally nothing, it's just a weeb game, who cares? Yeah, I'm getting tired of reading this shit in Discord every fucking day, dude. Just straight up. <laughs> just on the real, though. Yo, big man Snorlax, go bye-bye, let's go! Alright, Altaria, huh? You know what's funny? You're gonna be the most insufferable person when that game drops. Shut up. You're the worst person. Alright, I'm switching out because, um... Aerodactyl is pretty much a free switch here, because nothing's gonna kill it. Uh, I get a free Intimidate too. Lucky me. Attack drops, man. And there's nothing you can do to stop me! Slow mode exists, Tent. Actually, I can just take away your text privileges in Discord. That's actually a thing I can do. Yo, Raisin, welcome on in, man. How, how, what's popping, coach? Oh, hey, look at that. The Discord ping actually went out this time. Lucky me. Guess what day it is? Well, it's a Saturday, the 23rd. Dragon, why the fuck are you using that, buddy? You're legally. Oh, happy birthday, Raisin. Big shit. Good shit. Congratulations. Uh, I'm just gonna... Yeah, this doesn't really matter. You think it's EU time? 24? Okay, you know what? Okay, Raisin, where did the Pilgrims land again? Oh, right. The east coast of the United States. The canon time zone. It is currently the 23rd. Congratulations on turning a year older. Good job. Good job. Oh, does this kill? Air Aerodactyl, just, just throw it in place or not. The Pilgrims landed in your mom. True. Then why is my time zone called Central Time, huh? For attention. <laughs> For attention. <laughs> Alright, um, this Crobat's at like minus three right now. Lucky me. <laughs> I'm being the most insufferable jackass right now in this game, and I'm loving every second of it. <laughs> Look at that. Salamence is actually pulling some weight because I'm using it in the correct format. <laughs> Uh, nice crit, buddy. Good job. We're proud of you. We are proud of you. <laughs> you know who else we're proud of, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Your mother. Yo, eat shit. Thank you, uh, player. For the very ins insightful dialogue. Remember when games just let you type out messages for your characters? What a phenomenal time. Hello everybody, yo Mr. Dan, welcome on in. I hope you're having a fantastic time. Cross poison conf it's bold, never mind. That thing's ass. <laughs> it's minus attack, it sucks. Specs? Brave, doesn't matter. Alright. Um, that thing's bad too. <laughs> Can everything stop sucking for three seconds? And we got a team of Water Spam. How fun. Did you guys know Kinger only has like 85 speed? I thought it had like 123. I, it turns out I'm just stupid or something. Alright, Swampert's good. I already kind of have one on the side, doesn't matter. Wall Rain's better in this, kind of bad still because Lapras exists. Stormy could be good again. I could try trading one of the other Gyaradoses. Actually, I'm going to lead Arrow Metagross here. Arrow's gonna be bait for um something like Ice Beam or Waterfall from Floatzel. Mr. Dan, I'm doing good by the way. Um Or Hydro Pump from Kingdra. It's gonna be bait because um hey, thing dies in one hit. It also has protect uh not dive to explosion. Oh that bastard. Alright, whatever. The best way to counter water types is other water types, so I need both Gyaradoses right now. 
Why is it, why in the name of God would somebody want to have a bold nature for a Crobat? A 1 in 25 chance. Sag. Could be worse. Could have been modest. Never forget the old days, ladies and gentlemen, of Gen 3 when Flygon actually ran Gusts instead of Hidden Power Flying. Oh no! I see like two guys to explode in front of. Lucky me! Uh, hit that Fat Protect real quick. Arrow's putting in some weight against an all-water team. Love to see it. Love to see how my man be going crazy right now. Oh no, the Hydro Pump I perfectly baited with my Aerodactyl. To make sure Metagross did not die this turn. How unfortunate for the game. I mean, I had to lead Arrow here, uh, Salamence, or Infernape even. Just to protect and not die turn one. But hey, lucky me, it worked out in the end. Unironically, I think I'd rather have a Protect Gyarados instead of, like, Rock Smash. Yeah, Rock Smash is extra coverage, but, like, just use Waterfall. It's gonna do more damage. Wait a minute. Uh, Waterfall's 80, Stab, what, like, 120? It's, it's still more damage to a Resisted Target. A Resisted Target still takes more damage from Waterfall than Rock Smash, huh? Hmm. Okay, big slow man on the field. Starmie. Should outspeed that, huh? Intimidate does nothing. They're both special attackers. You saw that in the latest FSG video? You had to rewind because you saw Flygon use that attack? Wait, when did FSG talk about Flygon? Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I was just watching BKC's uh, fucking History of Hidden Power video earlier. <laughs> That's the only reason I knew about that. <laughs> uh, I'm not protecting again. Hold on. Stone Edge, 100. 150 with Stab. Thunderfang, 65. Uh, super effective is like times 2. It's still less damage than Stone Edge. Let's go for the uh, lower accuracy move. Yo! Yo. Oh, that did nothing. Hmm... Oh, wow, lucky me. That didn't do jack shit. Oh, it was in the Heracross remake. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right. Yo, dude, running Gust reliably just sounds so funny for no fucking reason at all. Slow King, can you stop being the most insufferable jackass right now? I just boosted my... Come on, don't die, don't die, don't die. Okay, good, we're good. Oh, 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 oh. oh I was about to start screaming for a minute. You're also guessing this is on an emulator? No, Mr. Dan. All of this right now is on a hit Wii U system. Made from the uh, most talented of gaming systems ever. How the fuck is Aerodactyl still alive? It doesn't matter. Slow King's always clicking surf here. I'm just going to go for the higher accuracy attack. When all else fail, fails, spam Wonder Wing. That's cringe. How about you don't play Banjo? My DA, the eye was on the other side because I tried to dash the other way. Hey, Oxy, by the way, I don't think you ever looked at the uh, Amiibo Doctor website for Yoshi. But um, Yoshi just seems to die randomly if you ever teach him how to use forward air. That's just a thing he will do. And um, I accidentally noticed that when um, I accidentally inputted forward, forward air a few times and it gets my pink Yoshi I was training. Because arrow's based. Yeah, it is pretty based. It's, a sh it's just a real shame its stats are pretty mediocre. Okay, and now Gyarados also survived Surf, huh? <laughs> One HP in a dream, let's go. <laughs> He's secretly focus banded. Oxy, your Yoshi has died randomly for no reason numerous times. Don't even pretend that's not a thing. Yo, Gyarados is coming in clutch right now. This Slow King's like genuinely throwing. Alright, buddy, old boy, I got some bad news for you. <laughs> Be gone, friend. It lived. Dies of this one, though. <laughs> hey, you got me that time, but hear me out. This one actually takes you out. Unironically, this safe file needs a Thunderbolt jolty on its modest nature with Focus Sash, just like the other safe file. Just my humble opinion. Mr. Dan, let me tell you a little something. I don't think you could get me to record 199 videos of this game for the second channel if I was playing this on emulator. Just straight up, alright? If that were the case, I just do not think that would have happened. 
Um, I mean, does Stormy have Ice Beam? Probably not. Psychic, Brian, Confuse Ray, Cringe. King's Rock. Rock Slot? Why? Does he have a water move? Protect, though. If you, were to, uh, if you were to do this game on Wii U, would you still be able to connect a Gen 4 game to it? Yes, you would. That is something I have done a fuck ton of times. In the game. Alright. Ooh, Mammoth Swine. That Venusaur is probably going to have Energy Ball because it's doubles and not singles. Singles always carries Pedal Dance. Alright, what's the game plan here? I think Arrow ain't half bad. It gives me a way to completely shatter Mammoth Swine. Is it a shiny Glaceon? No shot, right? No shot. Actually, I could go for the strategical turn one boom because In Infernape and Ments just fuck up everything. Those two just straight up kill everyone if I boom turn one. And plus, Ariel will still be on the field, so it works. It works out. That is the game plan I am currently aiming for. But yeah, the Wii U just plays Wii games. It, like it doesn't emulate them or anything to do any weird shit. Okay, Big Man Mamo on the field. When you soar, <laughs> Pogger Champ. All right, I think Mamo's Wine might click Earthquake here, so Metagross might just be completely fucked if it's. Well, this is a brave nature Metagross. It's going to get outsped regardless of this Mammoth Swine. But hey, it could go for Ice Beam. And Mammoth Swine Pog. That's what I'm pogging about. Okay, good. It, it targeted the other one. Good. Good! Good! That is okay. It should not kill with crit. It's fine. You're overreacting. <laughs> See, I knew my damage calc, alright? Get your super lock, night slash spamming cringe out of here. Goodbye, fiends. Get out of here. I want a good Mammoth Swine, alright? I don't know that Mammoth Swine's speed stat, so um, it could be good. Could be bad. Who knows? All I'd really want is like a Jolly plus Muscle Band with Earthquake Ice Fang. That's all I really need. Protect would be fucking awesome. And then probably Hail's always pretty much the fourth move. By default, so... Unfortunately! Alright, next comes Infernape since it... It has, like, a fucking 5-6 matchup. Okay, it beats Glaceon every day of the week. I click CC once and it dies. I also have Aerodactyl in the field to hit it. Okay, Immense is the problem here. I gotta Stone Edge that dude. Actually, Infernape doesn't kill after that attack drop, huh? Uh, that might actually be a big problem. I mean, Mince doesn't kill Infernape, though. I am going to double down the Glaceon this turn. I need to make sure this thing dies. Because if I don't... Okay, good job. You're being a complete under waste. I appreciate it, buddy. I'm trying to actually get a kill here. I mean, if Bernie if Bernie crits, it dies too. Um, I don't see a, a crit going on here. You're the worst. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I tried my hardest here. It seems... Oh, you have fly? Wait, I have to... Both my guys have protect. Arrow dies with this too, so whatever. Um, I see... <laughs> yeah, he's dead and fucking crit. I'll tell you that right now. Don't freeze, buddy. No 10% in this chat room, uh, Infernate, please. Alright. Mence comes in. I am going to protect in front of this Mence. Both the time. Look at that dude's animation, man. He's going crazy. Imagine if Sword and Shield did unique flying animations. Imagine if the Pokemon were actually visible when flying in Sword and Shield. And we're going to protect again so Glaceon doesn't completely fuck over my Mence. And uh, I make this Mence kill as safe as possible. Unga bunga, dude. Yo, good stuff. That's what we love to hear, misters. Sag. Look at Mence go! Oh, if only you could have pulled off the drag down up air off stage. Ew. Why would you drag down up air? Says me when I like to play Meta Knight in my free time. With my da my back air drag down into F Smash. My favorite thing ever. You think you want to stick with Roy? Cringe. Alright, Glaceon always dies of this, by the way. Lucky me. I hit him once. Maybe turn this into a secondary. Back into your main. Ew. What the fuck is wrong with you? Play Banjo again. Go back to playing Mithra Pyra. Anything's better than being a normie that put Actually, no, Mithrapyra is more normie than Roy is. Okay, are you really Habonberry? Like, come on now. Mister, you have a fucking Roy. What the fuck? 
Everyone has a Roy. You hold forward and click up air occasionally. That's literally how he works. I, do, I have not played Roy in a while now. I stopped playing Roy a while ago. Yeah, he's funny. He's really not. Main duck hunt, true. Roy is the boy after all. Um, this could be a speed tie, probably. Probably not, though. Okay, well, I'm, I'm, I'm faster than him twice. Good lucky me. Yo, big men, let's go! See? Not bringing one of my two Gyaradoses was the correct play here all along. It do be pretty crazy how Mensch just pulls off the most impressive gameplay you have ever witnessed with his, um, spectacular appearance. He keeps reminding me why I need to start using him more. Unironically, though, Fly Mints is kind of busted in this because it's basically just a free protect. And he actually has protect. Brave. Oh, that's bad. It's plus attack, though. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you so much. I am pissed. I am so fucking pissed at that. Lonely. It's plus attack. It's slower, though. Has a track for no reason. Actually, though, I'm going to take the second Mints. Unironically, I could get some mileage out of this over Aerodactyl. We're going to do double Mens, double uh, Gyarados plan here. Battle 4. Can these people, like, actually start carrying Mons? What is this thing's item again? Uh, Charty Berry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Charty Berry is not that helpful. Haban Berry just seems more useful overall for the occasional Haban Berry matchups. But Mens losing on that speed sounds fucking terrible. Um, what is the game plan for this lead? Unironically, though. I think double men's lead ain't as bad. Just on a serious note. I think we're gonna do men's plus Metagross. I'm gonna either fly or protect. Depends on whether or not Shifty or Ludi's a lead. I think Shifty's a lead I need to prepare for. Because uh, I, think, I don't think Ludi's gonna... Uh, Ludi, carries fake. Ludi carries fake out. Um, I think we take one Infernape, and we take one Gyarados in the back. You have one Infernape. You couldn't take the Venusaur, they didn't choose it. I physically couldn't. Plus, I already have a Venusaur on one of the other say passes. It's not a good one, though. It doesn't have E-Ball. So it's kind of not the most useful thing in the world. Not the greatest thing ever. Alright, what's the game plan here? Um, I don't ever explode here. Espeon plus that is kind of ass. I mean, I actually see no harm in exploding here, actually. Oh, I might take damage when I try to go for fly, predicting the looty or shift tree in the top slot. Oh no, I'm just going to blow up because I know my mince is faster than this. Oh god, oh fuck. Yeah, he was psychicking that slot. It's cringe. That's fine, he lives. Mince is busted. He's broken. He's cool and very awesome. Look at him go! That's so crazy. And he gets to dodge the explosion, which is the best part. That did not matter at all. I think that's like 300, uh, not 300, three times the amount of health it has. I could do a calc. That's just a metric load of damage. That is just not okay for that thing to be taking. Hmm. All right, lucky me. Um, Electivire's sus because, um, Actually, Electivire is not a sus mod at all. I just need to ignore it. Electivire is only sus if I actually pay attention to it. If you were to connect a, to a Gen 4 game, would you need it? You could use a 3DS, a DSi, or a DS. Any of them will work. The Wii or the Wii U affects nothing with that connection. Uh, emulator is the problem if you try using an emulator. Alright. Burn Ape. Okay, I can, uh... Wait, it's actually in the perfect slot for Mensa to hit it. Okay, works, that works fine for me. <laughs> that is perfectly fine with me, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm just gonna protect this turn. Thank you very much. Mensa's 69 HP. That's pretty high up. <laughs> Espeon left him with 69. <laughs> what the fuck was that animation? <laughs> it lived. It's gonna die to Surf here, right? He ain't clicking Psychic this turn. No shot he clicked Psychic this turn, right? You're cringe. You're the worst thing ever. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna... Actually, crunch the Slowbro. It's stronger than Infernape hitting it. 
And as for the shift tree, I'm going to aerial ace it in case it's bright powder for some reason. Probably not. But hey, you can never be too safe, alright? You can never be too safe. Goodbye, friend. Plus, I don't take any recoil damage or the uh, defense drop, even though I'm definitely going to die to this other guy. The slow bro. Yo, plus attack, minus speed, men's about to go crazy. Just, just straight up. All I wanted from this thing was adamant. That's all I wanted, ever. Its moveset was literally perfect. I just wanted adamant. And I came so close to greatness. And considering my meta gross, that happens twice. Meanwhile, the other save file can get modest specs alakazam and modest focus ash thunderbolt jolteon like it's nothing <sighs> that pisses me off so much all right i'm gonna eq protect with infernape let's just get as much damage on slowbro as possible i always beat this here because slowbro really can't kill thank a wee mini would have worked it's literally a wee it's fine dan i think you're overthinking everything here because it's like, it's not like a wired connection, it's just wireless. Yo! <laughs> nah, 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 friend! You ain't hitting that, man! Not today! Alright, uh, I always just go for Earthquake here, it's just the most damage. Even if Infernape dies after dropping his defense here. Yeah, the Wii U do be a fun system in the year of 2022, huh? Big man go bye-bye. Congratulations. You know what sucks about Slowbro? How it was still pretty damn good. Back before uh, Teleport became a minus one priority move after it got, you know, considering when it got Regenerator in Gen 5, it was still pretty usable. Well, it became way better. But dude, the moment that thing got Teleport, those stonks rose fast. You're going to catch me using Teleport Cloister, though curse on a special attacker with a bunch of Pokemon, none of which can get Trick Room. You're going to give me something that's only going to be helpful for boosting my defense. When Calm Mind is right here, if this was Protect, it'd be way worth considering. Naughty. Actually, never mind. That's kind of meh. That's actually kind of buns. You, can't, you, you tend to do that fair. I can't say I'm not immune to the same level of thought. Yo, blaze a kit. <laughs> All right, what's the game plan here? You can tell that I played stadium games a lot. Hey, listen, Dan, coming from somebody who's never played the stadium games, based, <laughs> based. Okay, unironically though. Oh, King Drill leads so fucking sketchy. If I lead the second mens here, <laughs> I love this. Two menses, two Gyaradoses. This is not the right gameplay I need right now. Actually, Metagross is a huge carry in this battle. Just straight up. I need to lead one Mensur Infernape here regardless. I think Mens overall, the Habanberry one's probably better for Altaria. And let's bring both Gyaradoses. It's always the safest option for these water teams. <laughs> Unironically, it's crazy when I don't have a good Jolteon. Listen, I literally got that thing yesterday. I need to quit just talking nonstop about that thing, but it was f so fucking broken. But how a one Jolteon can just completely make me change my entire thoughts on fighting every single water type to ever exist. Okay, blowing up a Vaporeon here is absolutely fucking massive, by the way. That is a huge thing to get. Your Sheik's nasty? Gross. Go for the Protect, because I don't know if I'm faster than Kingdra, because, you know, minus speed. It could be plus speed. And then I eat an Ice Beam or a Dragon Pulse. And that is terrible. Always. It is Hydro Pumping the Ments. <sighs> well, not the Ments, Metagross, whatever. Same thing. Whatever, I get my critters mixed up. Why are you like this? Well, that's why I didn't target the other guy. <laughs> Touched it nice. Luckily for me, I did not get frozen. Love to see it. Okay, well, Ments was faster anyways. It really was something to see your teams in 3D back then. See, Dan, the thing that makes it more noteworthy nowadays compared to, like, then, is now, like, the animations are just better because they're not as boring. Like, when you see Groudon in Gen 6 onwards, he sits there still as fuck with 
And his animations are just so stiff for no reason. Palkia got tuned down as well, and it's just like, bro, why do they have to do that? That's my issue with the newer games, dude. It's like, they have the animations, but they're just so stiff for no reason. Like, the only mod it makes sense for is Pseudo Wudo, because he's faking being a tree. Him staying still makes sense. It's the only mod that makes sense. And then something like Skarmory suspended in the air is the worst thing ever. Alright, I'm gonna dance. I don't really see Gyarados dying this turn. Get the D-Claw off on Altaria. Why does this game have better animations than any mainline game? Because ten this was the early days of the Wii. It's also because they recycled a lot of shit from Coliseum, XD, Stadium, 1 and 2. But we're gonna ignore that. The early days of the Wii were actually good. We got games like Mario Galaxy and all the other good stuff. Before everything came to uh, appealing to the guys who bought this, the fucking Wii for Wii Sports. Before that happened. When all the games just started being buns and the Wii sucked on release because there were no games on it. You know all that fun shenanigans. Uh, I just dance again. Like, what does Blastoise do here? Guys, it's called Blastus. Come on. His name is Blastus because he's a tortoise. Big man blasted. Shut up. Shut up. Alright, I'm giving up on everything right now. Yup. Hmm. I am not about to tolerate this. Lovely. <laughs> Out of context Pokemon. Oh, thanks for the crit last ways. I appreciate that so much. <laughs> I just love the welcome to hell tax. Magikarp in the Hall of Fame. Let's go. I'll just Dragon Claw here. It's Stab. It is some gameplay if I've ever seen it. Yup. That's pretty big, man. Guys, if there was one thing you can delete from this planet forever, what would it be? I know some people would say Drama Alert could go bye-bye. Or they would get rid of the stain of the Pokemon community. Or they would get rid of Fortnite... Or in my case, I would have gotten rid of the blue screens on Black Ops 4 release day, so the game could have been playable. But you know what I would get rid of if ever given an opportunity? Short form content as a whole. That shit is such a fucking plague. That Gyarados Dragon Dance animation is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my entire life, Dan. Just straight up. I wish I were joking when I say that, but like, it is just the greatest. I think I protect. Let's captivate. If that thing had protect. That Vaporeon would be fucking schnasty. Just straight up. That thing would be dirty. And it would not be up for debate. But yeah, you know what? Cat's Vape makes sense. They had to nerf it somehow. I'm crying a little because of that, but whatever. Helping hand Vaporeon would have been broken. Alright, what's the game plan here? I think Ments... Oh, Meta no, not Ments. Metagross and Infernape's not bad, because um, I just Meteor Mesh the Miss Magius turn one. Uh, it's Psychic's Infernape who's protecting. I don't know what the other Mon does, but uh, Infernape flicks a button next turn. It's not really a safe... Actually, I don't really have much safe plays against Smagius, actually. Meta, Infernape... Um, I love the Dusknor and Duskloths on their team. This is one of my favorite things. This is a Ghost-type trainer, right? And they kind of have all the Ghost types that can appear here. Since Driftblim and Bennett just kind of suck and aren't here. Kind of lower. It's funny, though. Huh? I can see one Gyarados and one Mence being useful here. I'll take the faster one. Gengar! I have a Gengar already, but if this thing's like... It's probably not going to be, though. Because I have a Toxic Hypnosis Shadow Ball Psychic one. If it were to have, you know, not Toxic, but anything else, like Protect, Energy Ball, I'd be considered. I will consider it. Blastoise and Aggron, huh? Here's the point thing, right? There's no point in blowing up this turn. I could go for the flinch on Aggron. I could actually keep Infernape a... Wait, I, I gotta flinch Blastoise. What, what am I kidding? I will go for the flinch on Blastoise. So I could close combat the Aggron, who probably dies even with Choppleberry here. I'm not sure. Time to be cringe! Oh no, he's going! To play Pikachu and Smash Ultimate. Time to die, Sag. 
And this is what we call Depresso Expresso. Wait, did he just live? Okay, good. Good, these health bars are extremely sketchy when I'm not really paying attention. Here's the thing, if I keep this... I can't... Uh, he's faster, never mind. I threw. Well, Infernape's dead. I didn't really have much of an answer there because uh, Metagross doesn't really have Hammer Arm. Which I actually would have protected and clicked there if uh, given the opportunity. Hey, Metagross, you want to crit this thing? Actually, it doesn't even really matter. I'm blowing up next turn, right? Uh, Mence comes in always to protect. Wait. Gengar, fuck. I can't, I can't blow up on that. I can never blow up in this thing's face. I can't Thunder Punch it, though. Just like when you saw uh, Nido King and Typh uh, Typhlosion, Gengar's one of your favorites since he was a kid. Gengar's fun. He's fun sized. He's got a bunch of tr uh, tricks up his sleeve. He's kind of hype. Um, I don't really see a point in doing anything here with men's. Like, Gengar shouldn't one shot it. And I could get a crit here and then not have to worry about a single damage range. Oh, men's, you are so cringe. It, it didn't matter. He just kills him. Pretty crazy what a plus attack nature will do. See, this is why choosing the faster one was the correct play, because I would have been outsped by that otherwise. I made the correct play here. Blastoise just kicked Metagross right in the face with Aqua Tail. <laughs> I'm sorry. That bothers me so much. <laughs> it bothers me so fucking much, dude. Oh, man, that should not be the case ever. But everything about that was just... It's so entertaining. <laughs> All right. I like, I know I've seen that so many times at this point, but it's the first time I think I've actually paid attention to it. <laughs> All right, it's time to stop. Oh, God. I'm about to freak out. Oh, well, that defense drop guarantees he dies here, so lucky me. I mean, it was going to do more damage than Crunch was anyways. But still. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen. It is officially five days off from bur uh, from Ice Cream Cake Day. Birthday gonna be pretty fun, I'm not gonna lie. Eat shit, that's my favorite. I, I still just like, every time I see that, I, it always makes me chuckle, I'm sorry. Just the fact I'm using the young boy trainer instead of anything else just makes it so fucking funny. Okay, if he had protect instead of payback, okay, it's, it was minus speed. No wonder I outsped it. Energy ball is huge for Gengar, but <sighs> payback, really? It's not even modest. This aggro ain't half bad. <laughs> this is like the best dust war I've seen. Like when Golem uses Mud Slap in Jet, uh, Stadium 2. I am going to agree because I have not played Stadium 2 nor seen Golem use Mud Slap in it. I'm just going to assume you're right and that it's funny. Are any shinies? Final fight? No shinies? That's so fucking cringe. Maybe got a star after. Come on now. So here's the deal. Actually. Here's an idea. I always lead Mence Metagross in these matchups. Here's the thing. Tauros has Earthquake. But also, Star Raptor might just strip. I don't know what the other Mon is going to be. Kazuya Mishima, based. Based. He wins. Um. Taurus can use Earthquake on Metagross here, which is always extremely sketchy. And doubles, they carry Giga Impact a lot. It could protect turn one if it's a Gyarados lead. Because Gyarados will have Earthquake. And not, since I'll be leading Metagross, it's a bit of a problem. Specifically in the Tauros Gyarados lead. I think I'm going to go for uh, a Mensa uh, and Thunder Punch. A Mensa attack and Gyarados. Uh, Ments and Meta hitting Gyarados. Because Tauros to strip might protect, might not do shit. Magnezone's a problem always. I kind of have to blow up on it and just watch this HP part tank. I mean, it'll live, barely, but... Might be the only out. I need Infernate for Snorlax. And I think I need my stronger Gyarados. <laughs> Two Salamences is so fucking stupid. <laughs> it's funny. You think me doubling up on two Mons twice would make my team just so weak to everything? <laughs> but it's surprisingly good coverage. I'm not gonna lie. 
<laughs> oh, this is depressing. Okay. Like, comment, and subscribe, by the way, for people watching on YouTube when this gets uploaded to the second channel. Alright! Tauros plus Star After. I always protect Ments here. <laughs> I love his double Intimidate. Unironically, though, I could just switch my Ments out. Oh, I am actually slower than both of his Mons with Metagross. It's actually kind of sketchy. I'm going to go for Explosion always because I know damn well both of them targeting Salamence will kill. I know that for a fact. It's more reliable to kill when they both target Ments. Uh, is Taurus going to protect? No, he has no reason to. Rock Slide. Okay, whatever. Uh-oh, miss? Miss, please? I do not want to get fucked over by 30%. Bullshit. Listen, I've played enough doubles back in my day to know... Fuck no, baby. Screw the fuck off with that shit, baby. You're the worst, alright. This is a problem, actually. <laughs> do I go for the double protect? Okay, unironically... What are my outs here if I blow up, screw up a double protect? Mens dies. I have to fight Snorlax. It gets intimidated once because of Gyarados. The other Gyarados is incredibly terrifying. My Gyarados can beat it 1v1 if I just Dragon Dance on it. Um, uh, Magnezone's a problem. I can Earthquake it, actually, though. Infernape also kind of just beats it. Yeah, risking the double protect here is honestly fine. Uh, he gets it. Good shit. I mean, I still have to dodge a, dodge a rock slide and or not flint get flinched. <laughs> Yo, Ment's carrying right now because Metagross can't do anything. <laughs> Unironically, this is some hype uh, Salamence gameplay if I've ever seen it in my life. This is the game I've been waiting for. I can't switch out. I can't switch Ment's out. Oh my fucking god, chill out. Guys, hear me out. I go for it again. <laughs> Didn't work. Here's the deal. When Infernape comes in. When Infernape comes in. Okay. Metagross might have an opportunity to explode. When I protect and potentially bait a Zen Headbutt to Infernape. Alright. Because I'm probably going to flinch again this turn. Actually, unironically from this position, it just might be... He lived. <laughs> he flinched. I'm gonna protect my mess this turn <laughs> for a fourth time as he lives again. Tauros just miss. It is an 80 accuracy. He's gonna flinch me again. I am crying right now. This is the worst thing ever. Oh, God. Oh, thank you for finally hitting. All right. Now I have Mensa on the field to bait. I, Dan, I could not Thunder Punch the Star after. Plus, I was worried about Tauros staying on the field. He could have just continuously flinched me forever. So blowing up on him was significantly more important. Plus, I just turned this into a 3v2 in a matter of one turn. Sorry. In a matter of four turns, because of three flinches, Metagross literally could not target anything that entire time. Alright, I always put Infernape in here because I need to kill Snorlax immediately. Regardless of whether or not Magnezone comes out. Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, no. I have to double team the Snorlax right now. That's fucking awful. That Intimidate hurts so much. And I think Shuffleberry, Giga screwed over. I could switch Ments out here. And protect and... Wait, they both see a kill in Infernape. I switch out. I get the Intimidate. I might switch... Actually, no. Snorlax will probably target Ments here. This is actually not the smartest play. Never mind. Don't get me wrong. I get both Intimidates now. But... Infernape's still at minus one. And getting no damage. Oh, no. Okay, he missed. Doesn't really matter. Targeting the Infernape. Double edge, he missed. It's fine. Okay, they both targeted him. Good. Good! We're gonna CC the lax, and we are going to awkward... We're gonna dance, actually. Dance is safe here. 
Gyarados should never die. I can actually crit Snorlax here and it just dies immediately. Does not get the crit. Sag. Um, what else? His Gyarados never kills mine here. Even if it has, like, Thunderbolt for some reason. I think I've seen it with Thunderbolt before, straight up. Not really worried about it if it does. I want the boost here to play it safe. Um, I am eating an attack from Snorlax, though. Let's just hope it's double edge and not the other move. I always protect men's next turn. Always. I need to keep it alive as long as possible. Mens has not attacked a single thing this entire battle. He has not hit once. Okay, you should have died, buddy. Shell Bell. At minus one, he did that much with Shell Bell. My ass. I need to get that Halo 2 clip on my soundboard. I should just need to make a soundboard in general. All right, protect always. Earthquake guarantees Snorlax dies because, hey, it actually hits the Snorlax. Um, I need Gyarados to target Mence. He's at a low enough HP to where he should bait the attack. Um, the uh, I'm actually in a super sketchy spot for his Gyarados. If that thing's at full health, I got two guys. It might be at minus two, but like, ugh. <laughs> but hey. Ment finally gets to start attacking, all right? Hyper Beam, huh? I mean, if you're going to attack Ments, Oh, this is my Rock Tomb Ments. This is actually not what I was hoping for. Unironically, if this was my uh, Fly Ments, that'd be way fucking better. Because that would just guarantee me another turn against it. But hey, I'm actually faster this way, so... Ooh, nice crit. Oh, that just killed. Good shit. Oh, that was nasty, actually. <laughs> hey, look at that. <laughs> it's kind of crazy when you have a Salamence and a Gyarados that kind of click buttons and go unga bunga brain dead, huh? Pretty fun. All right, I don't think I ever trade for anything here because that's a Hyper Beam Gyarados. It's kind of ass. The Tauros might be worth considering, but bold, yeah, never, muscle band, ew. It doesn't even have a takedown, come on. It's two rock moves. And Star Raptor's also bold, yeah, no thanks, they're all kind of beans. Well, how about that? Let's get a quick save and then try again. Because that was some gameplay if I've ever seen it myself. And for uh, sequel viewers, yeah, y'all are just skipping. They don't really care right now. That's awesome. Chat. Save game. Actually, I don't even have the alert box turned on. I actually forgot about that. You know, there's not been a single alert this entire stream, but just in case. Don't want to scam somebody out of the potential Sonic destroying my eardrums. All right, let's do doubles again, because I am not changing my team anytime soon. <laughs> we are shiny hunting a Salamence, not a, a Gyarados right now. Yeah, that, sure. We're going for literally anything at this very instance in time. And they have a team that has four ghost types and two substitutes for not having any more ghost types. That is some gameplay if I've ever seen it myself. If Gyarados had the same attack, special attack it did in Gen 1, mixed sets would exist, and it would actually would have been way better in Gen 3, where it could have bluffed Dragon Dance. Like, it would have had so much more options. It's a shame they cut its special attack so much. It's supposed to be the, hey, it evolves from a meme. Hey, Oxy, why the fuck aren't you an Inkling main? Because Inkling fell off in his mid-tier, mid dude. Come on. He's gonna play a good character like Yoshi. Alright, um, do I just leave double ments here? It basically answers everything that's not the Gengar Miss Magius lead. Although it does leave me open to the Dusk team, the Dusk duo, because they, one of them carry Ice Punch for sure. Uh, Infernape hits hard, it kills Absol, and I guess Metagross. Although Gyarados is still a good answer here, always. I kind of just want to see the second Salamence in action, honestly. If you ask me personally. Dan, 
Just think about how meta-defining Gyarados would have been in Gen 2. This actually exists. Okay, I'm looking at it. <laughs> oh, no! Okay, chat. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Look at Discord. Look at this animation. <laughs> oh, that is not okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that is fucking funny. I just love the on the screen too. I didn't even notice that at first. That makes it even funnier. <laughs> oh, that is the funniest shit I've ever seen. Anyways, this dust club should die this turn. This is two plus attack Salamence is hitting with crunch. No way this man lives. Okay, actually, it might actually live now because it didn't get the defense drop. Holy fucking shit. Oh god, that was so fun. I need to get off the screen right now. <laughs> Okay, I hit the wrong one. Oops. That actually did not do any damage. That actually got approved for the game. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> uh, but to be fair, this game takes an animation, right? And mix matches it with animations. That was just a happy little coincidence when they chose their animations. So the only way this Frozen Mints could have gotten any mileage here was if I chose Protect and Thought Out. Letting him die there is honestly fine. It's probably optimal. Especially considering it actually allows me to kill the Skengar. Big man. <laughs> Mints and Gyarados spam. That's what this game is right now. Oh my fucking lord. Okay, Dustnor, you need to chill out, my friend. Stop ice punching my dragons. <laughs> okay, chill out. Uh, this could be helpful in case Absol comes out, because I just actually have a way to hit Dust Lost to just win. Dust and my bad. Uh Miss Magius, that's cringe, you're annoying. Uh that thing's getting double teamed, by the way. It's fast, so um, I'm not gonna I literally have protect. Everything I do here is fine, as long as Magus gets targeted, it doesn't matter. Dan, you know what the worst part is? I think we need to see if that animation's in these other games. I might have seen it before, but it slipped my memory, but just seeing it... <laughs> now... is just the funniest shit. I might have seen it, though. I kind of want to get a Geodude and see if I can teach it Mudslap, well, a Golem, and see if it's, like, a thing in this game still. I doubt it, but since it reuses so many of the animations, and just the animation rigs in general, it might be in the game still. Obviously, people who are watching this video on YouTube right now because they, they actually play the game f religiously like I do, um, they would know that answer, and I would not. So I sound stupid as shit right now, but I'm going to probably test it anyways because, um, yeah, you can catch a graveler in heart gold and just use a heart scale on it. That's kind of an option. <laughs> Alright, let's make sure I don't accidentally blow up and kill my Infernape. Meteor Bash. Okay. Make sure I don't accidentally kill my partner and lose the battle because I can't kill the Dustnor because it's a ghost type. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. Alright. What were you at? Never forget the time that my Dark Pit used a Reflector and killed a, a Villager with villager side B by reflecting it at point blank range for 23%. There was no rage at all. That was diabolical and ultimate. But why the F did he misfire at that angle? Because Luigi's goaded. He's simply the best. BRB. Oxy, Persona 5 reference yourself. No clue why the fuck that hit. Because it was supposed to. Uh, is this Gengar good? Energy Ball plus <sighs> Dream Eater. It was naive, too. Don't get me wrong, the plus speed's nice. Mind if you enjoy that arena for a bit? 
Bet. Time to see some K roll action, maybe. Unless he pulls like a sneaky and plays um Breath of the Wild. I mean, sorry, Breath of the Resident Sleeper Link. Don't know why he would, but you know, there's a chance. Could be feeling a little quirky, you know. All right, what's the game plan here? I I think Metagross Inferno is safe to sleep here. Actually, I say that. But if I lead Metagross Infernape, I instantly have to take uh, both Gyarados as his backup. So I can actually hit the fire types and not instantly lose to him. Let's try that one out. I think that's like my only realistic plan here. The Fly Mints would be nice. Because it allows me to just fly and just hit Ludi later. Because like it, the game will not switch out. So the two turn moves are honestly fine here. I am perfectly okay with having Fly for... Stab. Looty plus Melodic. Huge. Alright. That is the fattest Explode plus Protect I've ever seen. Although, um, double, like, a single Surf crit might cause me to lose Metagross here, which is kind of bad. And one of them could Protect, because one of them is going to be going for Surf. Hydro Pump. Good. Alright. Well, Metagross uh, gets to attack this turn, thankfully. Infernate Protected. I mean, this doesn't even soften up his partner. Guys, Ludicolo is so awesome. Can we get a... I'm gonna get a dab in chat. Hold on. Awesome. Alright, anyways. Okay, though, unironically, guys, when I change my uh, username on YouTube and uh, eventually Twitch, um, I'm gonna have to figure out what my uh, profile picks are gonna be. Because uh, eventually I'm gonna disassociate with Kermit the Frog in general. And for the second account, I think it's fine. I mean... I think we'll leave it up for like oh, two weeks, maybe, before changing pictures. Obviously, I have to wait for the name change until like September on Twitch, which is fine. Uh, I bring in Gyarados. Oh, that Golem animation is a sin. That thing is a sin and a half. Arcanine, sleeper. Typhlosion, also a sleeper. Put me to sleep, my man. Alright, I think I always Earthquake this just to get some damage on the field. My Gyarados is slower than Arcanine. Which has Thunderfang, by the way. I mean, I'm gonna live it because of Wakanberry. Always. Let's bring in Gyarados. Typh Here's the thing. It would probably be more optimal for me to click close combat here with Infernape on uh, something. But, like, it's a minus one. What's it gonna do? It might crit. Sure. But, you know, neutering one physical attacker that's a genuine problem, that does not matter. Actually, it kind of matters. It's kind of relevant. Oh, you are so cringe. Oh, don't burn, buddy. The Nene is on the field, and I don't appreciate him right now. But luckily for me, I got two mods to spam Earthquake. Well, luckily for me, both my Gyaradoses are slower than them, so, uh... Okay, good shit. I did not knock top lotion and straighten a blaze during sun, actually. That looks like it's in blaze, I'm not gonna lie. Uh it might barely be out. That other angle of the health bar did not look safe. But I think we're fine here. Oh, that did a lot. I don't know if that's blaze or not. Anyways, if this doesn't kill, which I think it's gonna kill them both here. Uh what happens? Uh, Infernate just comes in and kills whatever lives. Because I have a plus speed monkey, and that is some hype gameplay if I've ever seen say my seen so myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Said so myself. Alright. Well, they both died. Lucky me. I kind of wish in doubles they could have just done like a split screen fainting animation, but eh, whatever. Unlucky. It's just slow. Gotta deal with it. This effing sucks for you, Tent. What the fuck? Oxy. When I get the chance, I need to show y'all that Kirby amiibo. But I don't want to ruin the arena while Dan's playing it, so um, I'll be respectful. I'll be respectful for now. Odor Sleuth. When he does not have a normal type move. Or a fighting type move. To hit the Mon. That it's going to be targeting. 
avalanche melodic. Sorry, melodage. The proper way of saying it. My bad. Melodage. With a G. Um, I saw a Wenyasaur. A Nine. I think Mens. Yeah, Mens. Metagross is just always safe here. Like, oh, if it's Arcanine, I just switched to Gyarados or another Mens. <laughs> actually more optimal here. I think just doubling down on Mence with Infernape's... It, I don't really think there's like a negative play here. But yeah, Oxy, let's just say that Kirby Amiibo is the funniest shit I've ever built. Because he's just so fast. And outside of grabbing, I tried to show him a little bit of how to click up air so we can actually attack. Uh, I am just gonna boom here. I know it's probably better if I don't. Actually, I'll just go for the kill here. Fuck it. And I will protect and then fly next turn in case Blastoise tries something sketchy. He's a fast lad. That's all I can say. He probably dies very early too. Protect. That's fine. That is perfectly okay with me, Blastoise. You go and get in your shell, buddy. E-ball. Oh no. He targeted the... The quad resist. <sighs> you fool. Get out of here. Oh, he lived. Well, I guess I'm not going to fly into the Wenyasaur after all. I guess I'm just going to bite him. Oh, declaw. I'm going to declaw my man real quick. Let's get my man and just throw him. Just go bye-bye, my fr funny frog friend. But yeah, I think the dab emote might be the alt emote for uh, the channel. Because listen, when I say the alt, I'm talking about the sequel. Second channel. Because, like, here's the thing. I play a lot of this game on there. But, looking at my other emotes, right? There's no, like, Cyndaquil's not common on the channel. Neither is Typh uh, uh, Incineroar. Or Fion, or Latios, or Slugma. So because none of them are, I think it's just less useful if I make them that channel's mascot and just choose Ludicolo, who sometimes appears as just a little reference. Because after all, ladies and gentlemen, I am a reference getter. Come on now. <laughs> I still love the naked Burmy Pog. <laughs> that is so stupid. Yo, big meds. Okay, I'm ready. Based. It is time for some gameplay. Um, uh, every fucking time this man flinches, every single time. It's not as funny as Golem, but it's still wacky looking. He looks ridiculous. That killed me. Good. Oxy, it's tragic. True. Blastoise, can you please stop kicking my man right in the face? I'd appreciate it if you stopped. Anyways, uh... 4v1? I think? Yeah. I can get a perfect point here. Mister, you don't understand. I just fucking died. I think I do understand. I think you died. Duh. <laughs> Duh. Okay, um, I put the other mints in here. And I Dragon Claw the Arcanine. Woo! Good gameplay. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. At some point soon... I gotta get off my ass. And... Stop. Stop. Use my links to do things rc poopy huh what are you talking about are you talking about rc cola and how it's mid as shit i think you're right big meds look at him go the faster one comes in and cleans up i actually wasn't paying attention i didn't know that killed it first it was looking at the fact that it's a four-hour-long soundtrack, and I was just blissfully unaware. 
that guys get it unaware. That's a that's an ability Clefable has that actually makes it viable for some reason, despite its horrific stats. Sorry, painfully mid stats. My bad. They're not terrible if they work. Come on now, bitch. All right, whatever. Sorry, sorry. I I was seeing something that bothered me. <laughs> this pincer has so much coverage that it's just not okay. It's just a shame that its nature sucks. Being quiet is not doing it any favors. Unironically, that pincer was a coverage machine. It just had a move for everything. Ooh, I have a chance for an Infernape upgrade. Literally, the only way I can improve my Infernape is a Jolly Nature. Just straight up. Jolly plus Black Belt plus an actual good fourth move. That is the only way I get a better Infernape. I think I always lead Infernape here and second Salamence. I want the fly to hit everything. I want Infernape to kill Lucario plus Heracross. And if I need to protect in front of like another fighting type, I can. Uh, I bring Metagross always, and I guess I take my fast Gyarados. I'll take the faster one because why that's a slower one, wait. <laughs> Oops. The slower one's on top. <laughs> My bad. I don't think I'll make a difference. At the end of the day, he's a water type. He's a flying type. Um, Intimidate. That's it. That's all I need. Nothing else from really matters. Alright, Glade Blaze again. Well, it looks like to me here, ladies and gentlemen, that I chose the right lead to break this Glade in half. With my... This was an Aerial Ace Infernape. Yeah, huh? That's a thing that exists, huh? Uh, if I hit the 95 accuracy here, here with my uh, Salamence, this thing dies. Uh, Glade is not physically defensive for some reason, when it probably should be. Oh no, not the Flare Blitz into Infernape. Oh no, not the Psycho Cut into the Protecting Mon. It missed. He was attacking Mence. Uh, always go Gera here to scout the fire move. Well, to catch the fire move. Damn, Oxy got Joker ver really got Joker versus K rule based. But Joker is incredibly cringe. He deserves it. You know what's fun about playing Joker and friendlies? Just spamming up taunt and just hearing looking cool Joker. Looking cool Joker. That's my favorite thing to do in Smash personally. If I am playing a friendly and I got uh, Joker, that's all I'm doing. Uh, this place is being cringe, by the way. Hey, uh, don't burn me, please. Okay, thanks. Alright, whatever. Um! Machamp, uh, can I ignore that? Is that an option? Wait, I have Aqua Tail to hit the blaze. Yeah, we're fine. It seems I do get to ignore because it probably doesn't even have no guard. Like I want it to have to make good use of it. Unironically, no guard, cross chop, or dynamic punch will be broken. And they're like, yeah, have guts and no way to status yourself. That sounds fun. I mean, you can just get like a Will O Wisp Smagius probably, but like, ugh. Too much self setup. Too, too risky. That's no double protect not. See, look, he missed. He's literally bad. He's literally not worth it. He is just genuinely shit. All right. Heracross, let me target the Machamp so to make sure it dies. I was about to sell that. Oxy almost sold that whole fucking game. Listen, Tent, Oxy has a habit of almost selling games. Just remember that game y'all played where y'all tag team against me when you both got random Duck Hunt, and I almost brought it back as Peach. Just don't forget that, ever. <laughs> the fact that I even got that close just should not have happened. But it was funny. I did get too greedy, though, when I used a final smash at, like, 20 or 40. It was somewhere around that line. Instead of waiting to, like, 60 or something to get more health back. That was my problem, probably how I lost, but it's fine. Robot. Ugh. Ugh. The image. And you guys will never know about that image, because... I'm not pulling it up on Discord, because it's not there on Discord right now. Alright, what do we got? Cringe. <laughs> so good with no... Modest, never mind. I was gonna say, 
I was saying it would be so good. But never mind, its move sucks. Its nature is literally absolute travis like the worst travesty ever. New project 17. What a hype uh, image file. Okay, unironically though, I kind of want to bring the second mints to get this Weavile. I think we'll lead Metagross Mints here. Because it kind of deals with everything besides maybe Aggron. Which I just take a Gyarados for. And I guess take Infernape too. Alright. Gyarados is kind of important for the water types, keeping them in check. Metagross is good at that too. But the Mon I'm mainly concerned about the Weavile to an extent. And the water types. Because of course they always are. Alright, Bucko, what do you got? Okay, well, Agron's cringe. And, um, if Metagross wants to land an attack, Weavile gets to die. Wait, my Met my Mence is faster, right? No shot. This is the slower one. Pressure's the interaction that doesn't matter about the speed tier, right? I think it's always like, hey, this is like a last ch ch chance thing, right? I've heard about this a few times from watching some Wolfie videos. I think I am making the right play by not trying to risk being faster when I'm definitely slower. Because of one sketchy interaction. Yep, Ice Punch. Yeah, not worth it. You almost caught me, buddy. Now die. Now be gone, fiend. Alright, I'm not having this. Okay, well, no sash. Pain. Unironically, I really want to sash Weavile with some busted moves. That would be the greatest thing ever. Uh, you're being cringe, buddy. I don't appreciate that. Not like it was hitting Mence any anyways. <laughs> that did nothing. Jeez? What are you jeezing, mister? Oh, fun! Something to explode on! And you know what the best part is? Why? Let's go. Let's fly right into Aggron. You just got sauced on? Good. Big man. Playing Rob is cringe. Incorrect. You didn't down tilt enough. That's your fault. That is no fault but your own. The fuck was that turn order? Why was Aggron? Huh? Whatever. Whatever. Marf. Based. I was scared of being grabbed again. <laughs> As you should. Getting grabbed by a robot's terrifying. Oh no! Men's avoided the attack! Now time to bring the big man in. And do some work. He's playing flat Marf. Sleeper. Lucina has no sauce, as we like to say. Okay, unironically though, what's safer? I think CCing the Empoleon is safer than CCing Aggron. Uh, well, unless he's gonna cheat and do that. He missed, never mind. <laughs> Mentz was flying still, so, uh, it made no difference. His quick claw meant nothing besides making it lose a turn. I mean, I am perfectly fine with that, in my humble opinion, alright? I have never seen such a throw before in my life, but we take these. <laughs> Good shit, Mints. You're doing a great job, buddy. Uh, Empoleon, can you, like, not kill Infernate? Okay, never mind. <laughs> How cringe. Anyways, thankfully now, uh, that thing definitely dies at Earthquake. And as long as Aggron doesn't cheat, Mints comes in and, uh, uh, let's, well, Gyarados comes in and kills, yeah. English, alright. See, Empoleon is faster than Aggron, except for when Aggron quick claws because he's a loser, alright. We're gonna Earthquake instead of Rock Smash, I know it's quite effective against Aggron. And I know it'd be funny too, but we're not gonna do that. Yo, big man, look at him go! He's so cool! He's like Chris Pratt playing Mario. He's just so awesome. Gyarados, do what you're born to do, buddy. Cleave through entire teams with one ground move. It's time. This bad boy can fit so much shit in it, man. 
Eh, Gyarados unironically can fit so many matchups in it, it's not even funny. But let's fucking go. Okay, well, let's hope that Weavile had some kind of sauce on him, right? If he was packing some heat, that would be great, because I want a Weavile personally. Because it, it seems to be proving me wrong when I was saying it was a, a bottom tier mine. In, in doubles. Oh, well, in singles. But it's, it's Surf. You have Protect, x Scissor, and fucking Surf. I'm taking him anyways. Having Protect on something that's plus speed like this is kind of nutty. Well, meant you've been fun. That traded? What the hell was that? I should get some fried chicken. Talk... <laughs> Talking about packing. Alright, uh, this team is not fun. Let's bring Mens in front of us the lead. If Blissey comes out first, I get to focus on whatever its partner is, because it sucks and doubles. You got two points too many based. So, Inferni beats Blissey, Ble beats Glaceon, destroys Mamoswine. Which is the important one here. Um, Mens... Uh, it, it, it intimidates the other mints, I guess. I s wait, I can just bring Weavile, actually. I think Weavile's way, way safer. S specifically for that matchup. And I get to Exus or Espeon, too, so it actually helps, too. Um, I'm thinking mints, maybe Metagross. Yeah, Metagross is kind of handle everything pretty well. The Gyarados is... Metagross, I keep saying, wow. The English language happens to be impossible. Reuse not cringe tent. You're just being a loser. Come on. Stop doing that. Alright. Custom message here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's play the game. Um. Oh, fuck. I don't like this team at all. I'm not playing Ryu Oxius. Yeah, it's not cringe. You're being a loser. Alright, we're gonna protect in front of that gator, and I am gonna ice punch the fuck out of that mens. Let's go, Weavile. Put in some work, pal. It's time. Your one opportunity to pull some weight has arrived. Wait, I was supposed to bring Mence here to try to trade for this other Mence. Oops. That was my plan, actually. It's Yashi Berry. Not like it makes a difference, because the only ice moves it could hit his body would probably have killed anyways. You know, if I wasn't at minus one getting completely dicked over turn one. Oh, fuck. This is awful, actually. <laughs> Unironically, this is a bad spot to be in. But it's fine. Gator's throwing. Let's actually switch into Gyarados here. And let's rid myself of this mens. I can sack Weavile here because it doesn't actually benefit me at all like in the slightest. Also, chat. I have this on this scene and it is awesome and I love it. We're just going to get rid of that real quick. Alright. Let's just do one of those real fast. Nice crit. You could have done that the first time, buddy. After you somehow managed to not die to him. <laughs> but hey, we take those any day of the week, my friend. Oh no, not the waterfall into Gera. You're so cringe, Gator. Just knock it off. He got that dumpy, though. Hold on. I think the Gen 3 Gator fans were onto something. Alright, let's dance. Let's protect the bait every attack ever with Weavile, because he's about to die. Let's play the game properly and use Weavile's greatest strength. Redirection from being frail as shit. And being this plus speed nature is also incredibly fucking helpful. Because that means he's also faster, which is of course beneficial. Look at that. Baited one move. A surprise, he baits another one. Weavile putting in some massive fucking work. God, I hate how much I know about this fucking game, dude. I gotta stop. No, down smash, should have expected it. Down smash, base. Was somebody playing Byleth or K Rule? I actually know Dan's playing, it's definitely K Rule. It seems I'm overthinking right now. Hmm. Um, does this thing die from plus one? Sag. It'll die to Earthquake, though. We fit. Hey, we fit type. You gotta play them properly, though. We fit's one of them characters that are really saucy, 
when you know how to use them, but they're a heavy skill-based character. Base, dodging the Blissey Burn. That is, in fact, what I love to see. Alright, let's double EQ here and see how much damage Gator takes. Unironically, they're like, Gator's just another water type. It's not bad. There's just way better water types. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure when I did the tier list for this game, I put Gator in tier 3. Like, it's it's good. It's just stupidly outclassed. Just use Swampert or something. You want a physical water type? You got Swampert. You got, um, I don't know, Gyarados? <laughs> a tier 1 Mon, no doubt. Like, come on now. Alright, where's Twitter at? I want to see if people are acting like children on the internet. And by people, I mean a specific person. A specific one individual. Dream. No. <laughs> no. Huh. I am going to Earth. Actually, this is my faster one. I need to fucking destroy this mammoth swine real quick. And then click the Aqua. T I should have. Okay, whatever. I should have actually double Aqua Tailed the mammoth swine, but it worked out. I mean, it probably would have died even if, uh. Casho Berry was in consideration. After all, ladies and gentlemen, it was plus one. Yo. Why the hell was Locke trending? Like Spartan Locke from Hit Game Halo 5. It is not. It's just some other unrelated nonsense. Alright. I did not ask. I was hoping people were finally going to start praising Halo 5 instead of complaining about it constantly. Alright, uh, Mamo, what do you got, friend? Roar. Oh, that's so sad. Gotchi Berry Immense is the only thing in consideration. Cut. It had fucking cut. Anyways. Um... Uh... God Jolteon question mark? If God Jolteon's on the table, should Weavile be on the table here? The Brink. I know bringing the second Gyarados is definitely a play. I think lead I think lead Infernape's the play. I literally just said always bring Infernape Metagross, right? Earlier. Let's bring this Gera. I could bring Mence here. Just to make sure I have that extra slacking coverage. Or I can bring Weavile, which doesn't really check anything besides Star after after switching in. It redirects a few moves. What's its last move? What's the fourth move? Surf, right. Surf, my favorite Weavile abusing attack. Ah fuck. Do I want the second I might need this Metagross. Well, Mens. Me yeah, Metagross. That's the Metagross, alright. Huh. Guys, apparently... I'm looking at this tweet right now. There's like a fuck ton of Three Hope Special Editions in stores. That's crazy. Not like I'm interested in the Special Edition of the game. L, bruh. L. But also, L doesn't add to the conversation at all, so you should stop spamming it like a loser. Alright, anyways. <laughs> this is the new stance I'm taking to shame people from spamming L in chat. Well, um, I have a plan here. Let's just hit the Tauros really hard. And protect this turn, because uh, Infernape's definitely baiting an attack. Switching! Okay. Why is that word banned? Because, Oxy, I don't want people to be virgins in this chat room, alright? I want them to ha be just complete and utter muff slayer, alright? Is that, is that the phrase? No, right? I want them to just go and slam. Uh, I protected here because I thought Tauros was gonna attack me. But I guess I get a free kill on Star Raptor. Next turn. Oh, he's switching. Okay. That's cringe. Oh, this Dust Norse just being a. Why are you like this? Oh, this thing's the worst. Alright, let's just go for the mash on Dusknoir. 
fuck, dude? I'm losing my Tauros answer here. Oh, this is genuinely so annoying. I, I can't lose Infernape too, right? No shot. That actually fucks me over so hard. I get dicked so hard. I'm going to Aerial Ace the Star Raptor because this means I might be able to survive the Dusnor attacking me. Maybe. It's Dusnor. He's weak. With his 130 move, he's pretty weak. Big man! Big coverage. And by big, I mean 60 base attack, but whatever. Whatever, Aerial Ace clicks a button. Any other character you would have won that game because your second stock as we fit was cooking? Sure, buddy. Keep telling yourself that. Next, you'll tell me in Among Us you'll actually win if you have any other partner other than insert bad random partner here. Sure, pal. All right, that Tauros was played was just so obnoxious. I genuinely might lose now because of that. Because this Dustnor is going nowhere. It is not dead yet, and this is so annoying. Unironically, I need this thing off the field. And I get intimidated because of fucking course. Why would I not? Fuck, I gotta protect Infernape this turn. You hit a clean clip at Dan's K rule uh, so he can recover from it? Based. Maybe you shouldn't hit clips against K rule. The worst part is. Let's just double protect and see what happens. He might even switch out again. Or Dustnor is just going to hit Tauros here, which also helps. I was going to protect Infernape here always. But the extra damage coming from Ments might be beneficial. For Ments protecting instead of getting hit. Um, you're cringed. Can you please fucking stop? He's hitting his partner. Good. Hey, you want to create your partner real quick, pal? Okay, thanks. I actually did not need to protect Mints that turn. You had a clean clip, but Dan is K rule, so he got to recover. L. Massive problem for you. Alright, um, that did absolutely no fucking damage, and Dustnor is healing everything. How much is a Blaze boosted? It'll do a fuck ton, I'll tell you that right now. I think super effective close combat with Black Belt probably does more. Oh, that didn't do, do anything. Oh, fuck you. This thing's hacking. Nightmare why you don't like dealing with PH. Two stitches in one game based. W. But Peach is a hype character to fight, Dan. Come on now. Peach is a very skill-based Fuck you. Why are you targeting the damn mints? He's gonna crit me. Or not. I guess having mental life helps. How? Lamau. And there goes the monkey man. Alright, this is gonna come down to a sweaty endgame versus the Snorlax, which is extremely cringe. Alright, Tauros, just take damage! Chill out! And this thing just has unlimited health! It is impervious to damage! It's literally not fair! Oh my god, this sounded like Sonic music for a second. Hold up. Alright. Let's actually turn it up just a wee bit. Alright. Okay, what's my game plan? Can Mence even kill anything from this percent? I think Dragon Claw might kill Tauros. Which means I should totally go for the Aqua Tail and Dusnor. And I'm gonna miss it. Watch. The game's gonna fuck me over. Again. Like this entire battle. Okay, he's gone. Thank you. I mean, I actually could have double teamed the Dustnor here because it was recharging, but whatever. Whatever. Who cares? I know what I'm doing. I'm playing the game right. They got the same character and same ult. That's happened before. It's happened before. We have done set so many times that it does not surprise me at all. All right. One man, not intimidated. This is some... <coughs> Turbo cringe if I have ever seen it. I am dancing on this fool right now. As he goes to hit my mints. The way it needs to be. Unless he's cheating and reading my inputs. 
probably should not be the case, but you never know. Hmm. Oh no, the double legend of Mint. No one get would kill? You know what the problem is? This is not the right Mint. If I had the slower one that had Fly that I traded off earlier, unironically, it would be carrying super fucking hard right now. Just from uh, taking another turn off the Snorlax. Oh, that did so much. Unlike this, which is going to do not even a fourth. Oh, that's so weak. He's so bad! Wait, this thing might die. Actually, now he lives. Because recoil damage is completely inconsistent. See, he lives when he definitely should have died. Whatever. <sighs> Marf sucks, base. Marf's actually good, and you're just complaining that you can't properly zone against the opponents. He's actually better than Lucina is, but people like to be in denial because they're bad at zoning and spacing their attacks. See, if if if, if pro players, <laughs> I'll stop. This bit's not funny, and it's in fact very rude and super mean. And your mother. All right. Also, Dan, we've played three player FFAs and got the same character. It's happened way too many fucking times. And the same ult, like, once or twice. It really has. Alright. Rest. Is it Rest or Chesto? No, right, it's Lefties. Unironically, this Dust is actually not half bad. I mean, if it... Like, it's got will o -Wisp, it's got Stab, it's got Ice Punch and Earthquake. It's actually a good Dust Noir. Unironically, I kind of want to give up the Scarados for it. <laughs> like, unironically, I kind of want to hand them over. Fuck it. We're doing it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was some gameplay. Unironically, that Dustin Ward is not half bad. He's got his doubles uses if I've ever seen it myself.